Hello and welcome to Starfish Maths. My name's Sarah and today I want to continue with some differentiation looking at the product and quotient rules. This is going to continue on from my previous video on the chain rule so make sure you check that out if you haven't already. I'm also going to look today at differentiating logs and exponentials. I'll use plenty of examples of all of those and finish up with a challenge question. As ever please do grab a pen and paper, pause the video and work at your own pace, rewinding and fast forwarding as you need. I hope this is helpful. Let's get started. Let's start off with the product rule. So I've written here that for a function y when it's a product um, of two things times together, which we tend to call u and v, so u times v, whatever they are, the derivative is given by v u dash plus u v dash. Um, people have different ways of saying this, but the general idea is that when you've got two things that are multiplied together, um, you take it in turns to differentiate them. So u dash means the derivative of u. So that's u when it's being differentiated. So we're going to take v and multiply it by the derivative of u and u times the derivative of v and add them together. Let's do an example of that. All right, so here's a nice example to start with. We've got two things here that are clearly being multiplied together and they've got nothing to do with each other. There's no, no other way of writing this. x squared multiplied by sine x. There's no way of simplifying that, there's no other way of differentiating that apart from using the product rule. So we can call u one of them and v one of them. I'm just going to pick um, u as being x squared and v can be sine x, but of course you can make them the other way around if you prefer. And we're going to differentiate those. The language I'm using here is u dash and the derivative of x squared is 2x and the derivative of sine x is cos x. That's in my last video on the chain rule if you need to just brush up on that. So we're going to differentiate this now using the product rule. So we're going to go v u dash, so we're going to times v by u dash first, that's 2x times sine x, and add the other two times together, u v dash. That's all there is to it. Let's have another example. So here we have a horrible looking function, cos x multiplied by the root of 3x plus 1. And again, I'm going to set up u as being cos x and v as being the other bit. But I'm going to write that as a power, because as we know, that's easier to differentiate. And now we need to differentiate those separately. So the derivative of cos is minus sine, don't forget that negative. And the derivative of v, you'll need to use the chain rule for that. So make sure you've been practicing the chain rule. Um, sorry that's squidged in there, but we can also write that um, with the root on the bottom, seeing as it's a negative. So quick reminder there, we're differentiating the outside, so a half and then the power minus the half, and timesing by the derivative of the middle function, so that's three, that's why we've got three on the outside. Using the product rule then, looks fairly messy doesn't it but um, <laughs> hopefully it's not too tricky if you go slowly and carefully. So that's the product rule, let's now look at the quotient rule. Okay, the quotient rule. So quotient um, it means when you're dividing stuff, so this is when you've got two functions, one on top of the other, one divided by the other, and this one's a little bit more complicated and looks even messier when you use it, but again, if you just do it slowly and carefully, it shouldn't be too tricky. Um, the top, it does matter this time which way you get these around, so it's um, the bottom times by the derivative, the derivative of the top, minus the top times the derivative of the bottom, all over the bottom squared. Again, people have different ways of talking about that, but that's the general rule. So let's have an example. So here's an example of a situation where it'd be really hard to differentiate this any other way. Um, you've got a top and a bottom, and there's nothing you can do, really do to simplify this. So the quotient rule is your best bet for differentiating. Again, I'm going to start by setting up u and v. Um, u is the top, so you don't get much choice this time, and v is the bottom. Of course you can use different letters, whatever you like, but 
but now let's differentiate that so we'll get 2x and let's differentiate the bottom so we'll get 6x. Now let's put that together with the quotient rule. So we've got vu dash minus uv dash. And we can simplify the top of that by expanding and collecting. So happily enough the 6x cubed cancels out so we're left with a somewhat simple answer but that doesn't often happen. <laughs> Normally you end up with a big old messy answer which looks horrific but hopefully should feel pretty satisfying. Let's do another one of those. Okay I've snuck some more trigonometry in here so we've got tan on the top. I hope you can remember what you get when you differentiate tan, you get sex squared. And we'll do the bottom is x cubed minus 4. So the derivative is 3x squared. Now we can use the quotient rule. Hope you're getting this yourself. I'm literally just looking at that thinking, I don't, I don't think I can really simplify this much, um, so I'm not going to bother. I'll just leave it like that. Um, pretty untidy and huge, but that is the derivative. So that's the quotient rule, and I also now want to look at differentiating exponentials and logs. Hopefully you've seen this language before, this means the derivative of e is, and the derivative of ln is, and here I've got um, e to the power of a function, so whatever that function might be, it could be x squared, it could be sine x, but I'm going to do the general case here. So the way to differentiate e to the power of a function is to leave it like that, but to bring to the front um, the derivative of that function. So the language I'm going to use is f dash of x, that means differentiate that function and stick it at the front, multiplying by all of that learn of a function, the function itself will go down to the bottom of a fraction and on the top will be the derivative, so f dash of x. So that's how to differentiate the natural, ex natural exponential and log function. Let's just do a couple of examples of those so you can get what I mean. Um, if we're differentiating, for example, e to the power of 3x, I'm just going to put a little arrow to say that we're differentiating it. Um, what we'll get is the derivative of that function, so that will be 3 times by the same thing. Even though that looks a bit complicated, it's actually quite easy to do. A really simple example is just e to the x. Um, so it'll stay the same and then the derivative will come to the front. Now the derivative of x is just 1, so we don't even need to write that. So that means that the derivative of e to the x is e to the x. So whether you differentiate or integrate e to the x, it doesn't change. Looking at a simple example of this one, let's differentiate ln of x squared. So we'll get the derivative on the top, which is 2x, and we'll get the function itself on the bottom. The ln itself vanishes. Um, and we'll also differentiate ln of just x. So that goes to, so the derivative of x is 1, and x, the function itself, goes on the bottom. So that's a very particular example. It's good to know um, e to the x and ln x, the simple ones, off by heart. And just thinking this to this, actually, remember that um, ln of x squared can also be written as 2 ln of x. Um, so it would be 2 times the derivative of this, which would be 2 over x. And can you see that that would simplify to 2 over x, so that kind of links them up. Let's do some examples using these of the product and quotient rule now. Let's bring all of this together now with some more beastie questions. So now we've got uh, this function here, which we want to differentiate, and it's something times by 
something else. So we're going to use a product rule. So let's set up u and v. And here we're differentiating the exponential. So the derivative is going to go at the front and then keep the function the same. And v is sine cubed. Differentiating that, you'll need the chain rule. Um, so differentiating the outside, we have 3 sine squared and multiply it by the derivative of the inner function, which is sine. The derivative is cos. Well done if you're following all this. There's a lot of complex stuff going on here and it's bringing a lot of things together. So now, putting this together in the product rule. Wow, loads of little areas you could go wrong there, so um, just be really careful with that. <laughs> well done if you're getting this right. This time hopefully it's clear that we're using the quotient rule for this one because it's something over something. So let's set up u and v. Differentiating a log, so we're going to have the derivative on the top, which is 2x, and then keep the function the same on the bottom. v is much simpler, derivative is just 2x. And putting that together with the quotient rule. This time there is something that we can simplify and that's just um, cancelling x squared plus 1 on that term there. So um, on the top you'll have 2x minus 2x blah. Um, so you could factorise that if you want to take 2x as a common factor. Um, it does look messy. Sometimes you're asked, instead of giving um, some sort of simplified answer, sometimes you're just asked to find the gradient. So let's just practice doing that. You might be asked, for example, to find the gradient when x is 1, and that would just be a case of substituting in um, x is 1 into your derivative. So doing that in your head or using a calculator, and if you're asked for an exact form, then that's perfectly fine. Or you could give a decimal answer. Great, we're going to finish now with a particularly juicy question which I found in a CGP book. Look at this awesome equation here. Go on, pause the video and have a go. I believe in you. We need to differentiate the left hand side. It's asking us to find the derivative. Um, and we've got a function here times by lin x. So we're going to use the product rule. So we'll start off by setting up u and v. And we'll use the product rule. Keeping the right hand side as it is. Simplifying that by dividing by x. Taking these terms over to the right hand side and simplifying. Dividing by that bracket. Factorising the bottom and cancelling with the top. And then finally solving that log equation of log x is a third by using an exponential e to the power of a third. Nice! Very well done if you got that question. Otherwise, rewind and have another go yourself. Brilliant! Well, I hope that was helpful using the product and quotient rule. Keep practicing loads of different examples. We've got all kinds of different questions out there using the product and quotient rule. Thank you for watching.